we have a question which asks us to find dw dt, where w is just x times y, x and y are themselves functions of t. You may be wondering, why would I use the chain rule for this? Or even how could I use the chain rule for this? Because w is just e to the t times t squared, so clearly I could just find this using the product rule. In particular, d w d t is just d d t of e to the t times t squared, which by the product rule is e to the t times t squared plus 2t e to the t. And of course, that is the derivative d w d t, but it's the wrong way of going about it. You didn't use the chain rule. And in fact, the whole purpose of this question is to get you used to the chain rule and, and exploring its lovely properties. So, how can we use the chain rule to solve this problem? Well, the chain rule is for evaluating derivatives of functions of functions. So what you really need to do is take w as a function of x and y. The x and y are themselves functions of t. So you have these intermediate variables x and y. And this is really the scenario where the chain rule comes into play. The chain rule says when you have a function of, in this case, two variables x and y, the derivative dw dt can be expressed like this. It's the partial derivative of w with respect to its first variable, in this case x, times dx dt. And what this is saying is it's the amount w changes when you change x times by the amount x changes when you change t. Good. And you just add these all up for all the different variables. So this is partial w with respect to y now, times the amount that y changes when t varies. This is the chain rule for a function of two variables. And this is stuff we can just evaluate. So dw dx, that's just y. And y is t squared. dx dt, that's just e to the t dw dy, that's x, which I'll write as e to the t, and dy dt, that's just 2t. And as you can see, that's exactly the right answer, or that's exactly the answer we got before, but in this case we use the chain rule to get there. You may be wondering, why would I bother using the chain rule when I could just use the product rule to get there? Well, you can't always use the product rule to get there. In this case, you can, but sometimes you can't directly take the derivative of w with respect to t. And nevertheless, you can take its derivative indirectly using the chain rule. Thank you.